folks, the Filipino Bee here. And a lot of you guys have asked me how we Filipinos can possibly survive on the small wages we make. How in the world do we stretch our tiny paychecks to cover everything from rent to food to clothing? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how we do it and I'm going to take you around town so you can see for yourself. And for those of you who might have a long distance relationship with a Filipina and are wanting to help support her, but you're not sure what her budget really is, this information will give you an accurate look at how much it costs to live like a local. Now, of course, everyone's budgetary needs are different. But today, we're going to assume that you are a single Filipino who lives in a medium-sized city. If you live in Manila, it'll cost more. And if you live out in the provinces, it'll cost less. I'm also going to assume that you live alone. If you live with your parents, you'll save on rent. But if you have a child, you'll need a little extra in the budget. So one of your biggest expenses is going to be food. Fortunately, there are a lot of options when it comes to buying fresh food. Come on, I'll show you. Alright guys, I'm here with a local meat vendor and uh, they're selling pork and beef. One of our go-to meats here in the Philippines is pork and at the moment they're selling the pork for 230 pesos per kilo. 230 is about $4 and a kilo is about 2.2 uh, pounds. And this is beef ribs and they're selling it for 300 pesos per kilo and that's about $6. So now let's check the chicken section. Hey guys, I'm here at the chicken section and they're selling the whole chicken for 158 pesos, which is about $3. They also have different kinds of uh, cuts. They have chicken wings, chicken thighs, and drumsticks. And the drumsticks are for 180 pesos, which is almost $4. And uh, they don't waste anything. They also sell the chicken skin and the chicken bones. Oh yeah, what kind of chicken skin? Fila? 120 per kilo. 120 per kilo. Wow, 100, 120 pesos per kilo for the chicken skin. Alright guys, so let's check out the vegetable section. I'm gonna pick up some chicken wings later. Alright guys, I'm here with my favorite vegetable vendor. <laughs> I usually get my uh, veg vegetables here and um, most of them are grown Organ organically. Organically. Yes. organically. If you can see this guys, eggplant that's very long but yeah sad to say i'm allergic yeah i'm allergic seriously also they have cucumber look at the different size <laughs> how much is the kilo for the cucumber uh, right now i'm selling at 90. 90 pesos per kilo it's about two dollars and this one is for 80 pesos this is good for eggplant omelet they call it they just mix it with egg and it's very um very yummy but sad to say, I cannot eat it. Anyway, how much is the string beans? Uh, uh, string 10, beans. Ten pesos. Ten pesos. Yeah, so you can get it for three for twenty-five. Three for twenty-five. Yeah. So ten pesos. And if you're um, good at haggling, you can get it for twenty-five pesos for three pieces. So that's about fifty cents. Yeah, that's true. Yep. And they have okra. Same thing, no? Same, yeah. Then. 10 pesos for okra. Also, you can get it at uh, 3425. 3425. All right. How about the squash? Uh, right now, it's 20 per slice, the big one. This one, okay. Yeah, this one is 10 pesos. 10 pesos. Yeah. All right. 10 pesos is about 20 cents. This is 20 pesos, which is about 40 cents. Yeah. All right. So, what else? What else? Oh, how much is the potato? Uh, right now it's kind of expensive, so I'm selling it for 120. I'll give it to you 110. 110, I got 10 pesos discount. <laughs> 120 pesos per kilo. But since we're friends, <laughs> uh, she's only gonna give it uh, to me for 110 pesos per kilo. And how about the carrots, bebe? How much um, is the carrots? That's 140, but I think I can give it to you 120. 120. Yeah, since we're friends, I always get the friends and family discount. <laughs> 140 is about three dollars, and um, since we're friends, it's only 120 pesos for me. See, a lot of perks come in if you're friends with the vendors. <laughs> How about the 
cabbage, baby. Pilang cabbage. Mom, 100. 100. So that's discount. No discount. Expensive right now. Okay, so the cabbage is about um, two dollars per kilo. Unfortunately, unfortunately, because they're kind of expensive. Because, yeah, no discount for now. But for the others. For now, but yeah. for the others, yeah, she'll give me a discount. Yeah. Anyway, guys, you can um, you can buy the freshest from this section, and if you're here in uh, Dumaguete, just check out her stall. You can get, yeah, tell tell her that um, you're friends with me, and then maybe she can give you a discount. <laughs> All right, so guys, let's move on to uh, what else? To the fruits section. All right, guys. So I'm here at um, the fruit section. I'm here with Ate. She's the one uh, that owns this fruit stall. Ate. So, what do you guys have here? They have different kinds of fruits, guys. Uh, they have grapes. They've got um, lemons, jackfruit, jackfruit and, banana. and um, banana, banana, and mangoes. So you can see, guys, the prices are laid out. So if you're good friends with Ate. She can give you a discount. <laughs> All right, so uh, they have here um, apples. Are these Fuji apples, Ate? Yes, here. Fuji apples. Yeah. So 15 pesos, which is about like 30 cents each. And look at this, guys. 25, um, 25 pesos, which is about 50 cents US. And they're sweet. And um, they also have oranges for 30 pesos uh, per piece, which is about 60 cents. And what is this, Ate? Pears. Pears? Ah, okay, they got pears for 25 pesos each, which is 50 cents. And they have the green mangoes. These are the sour ones. Money yung aslum, aslum, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, these are the sour ones, which is good with the shrimp paste. I know, guys, it's a weird concoction, but we love it. But, you know, being a Filipino, we have a different <laughs> taste buds <laughs> <laughs> and we got bananas bananas they're green but they're ready to eat nano ate yes. yeah they're red, ready to eat and how much per kilo ate uh, three for twenty three for twenty like three pe three pieces for twenty yeah, pesos yeah. okay so uh three pieces for twenty pesos which is about forty cents i think it's because um lisod ro ang kwano ang saging yeah so it's not the season of banana season. So it's a bit, um, a little bit pricey than the usual. So guys, they've also got durian, the infamous stinky fruit of the Philippines. How much per kilo, Ate? 100. 100 pesos per kilo. That's about $2. And um, I know they have this air, air fort rules, no, Ate, that you cannot bring durian. You, you have to really wrap it tightly because it stinks. Although, it doesn't stink, Ate, but this one's ready to eat, na, no? Yeah, you look at oh. Oh, yeah, this is ready cheap. to eat. Oh, my God, this is so spiky. It's spiky. And um, it doesn't stink, but it smells good. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my God, I'm going to get this one later. Anyway, next is marang. Yes. Marang. Marang. Okay, how much is the kilo? Uh, 41 per kilo. kilo. 40 pesos per kilo, which is about 80 cents. And it has smaller seeds. And this is also sweet, no, Ate? Yeah. This is sweet. Everything is sweet, like the Filipinas. <laughs> we are very sweet. And they also have, like, um, locally grown papaya. 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 <laughs> I don't have papaya, big brack. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> How much per kilo, Ate? 40. 40. So 40 pesos per kilo. All right, guys, so I'm going to grab some fruits from Ate and um, I'll catch you later, okay? So, guys, you're not a Filipino if you don't eat rice because rice is life in the Philippines. I know in the West, you guys have only a few types of rice like white rice or yellow rice or rice aroni. But we Filipinos, we have as many types of rice as Eskimos have snow. So here we have red rice and white rice and all of them are sold for under a dollar per kilo. So if you can see here, we also have rice corn. It's basically corn that is milled. And that's yellow corn, this is white corn. And we also have the sticky rice. 
here for 45 pesos per kilo which is about um, 90 cents us and again guys one kilo is equivalent to 2.2 pounds and um, yeah i guess for me i can only consume maybe uh, five kilos of rice for a month so that's that's a lot of savings all right guys so even though we filipinos have a tight budget we also want to eat out once in a while we go to our local restaurant we call it a uh, carinderia they serve filipino food it's home cooked meal with those lovely ladies say hi ate <laughs> all right yeah vlogger ko no char all right guys so i'm gonna get uh, ate isaka rice and then isaka bicol express and also guys they're gonna give you a free soup with your meal all right guys so the food is ready and it's here on the table and what i've got is a portion of rice and bicol express it's like white curry with cocoa milk and it's just, this is spicy so for this um one portion of the meat is about 40 pesos which is about 80 cents and this is 10 pesos 20 cents so in total I paid 50 pesos, which is $1, and I've got a free soup. Bon appetit! So the monthly food budget for a single Filipino, conservatively, is around 5,000 pesos, which is about $100 if you're living alone in a medium-sized city. And the second biggest expense that you may incur is rent, and most working Filipinos uh, live in a boarding house like this. Boarding houses are commonly seen in the bigger cities like Cebu and Manila, but they're also available in the provinces. They're popular with students and workers. When I was in college, I was staying in a boarding house with three other people because our boarding house is closer to the university. And the same thing when I was working in Cebu. Now, there are two kinds of boarding houses. One is it can be a part of a Filipino household, meaning there's a spare room that they're renting out. The other one is part of a commercial building complex that can accommodate up to 50 tenants at the same time. So if you're in a boarding house, you're sharing the common areas like the kitchen, the bathroom, and the laundry area with the other tenants. Now, if your girlfriend says that she's staying in a boarding house, this is the kind of accommodation she's in. So the average rental price of a boarding house or a room is about 2,000 pesos per month. That's about 40 US dollars per month. That's your monthly rental. Now everyone needs clothing unless you want to go to jail, but we Filipinos, we mastered the art of recycling and we shop at these kind of stores, which is a secondhand stores and most of my outfits are secondhand. And today I found this very cute denim dress for $2. This is 100 pesos and this dress is also 100 pesos, which is $2. I know in the West, maybe for a branded um, average um, dress is around $60. But here you can find the deal uh, like this um, pile of clothes. This is kids clothes for 35 pesos which is about 70 cents you can also find um, maternity dresses um, swimwear um, evening gowns you can also find underwear and bras <laughs> brassiers and uh, yeah everything pretty much everything so guys if you want to live cheaply you ought to check these kinds of stores and um, the clothing expense for one person is conservatively uh, 1,000 pesos a month, which is about $20 US. So guys, most of the Filipinos have phones, but we don't have postpaid plans or, you know, the ones from major carriers. So what we do is buy load. It's like phone credits. It's like, you know, gas for your cars. So if you ran out of load, you just have to go to one of the Sari Sari store or this loading station to get a uh, load for your phones. Now you can buy um, load for as low as 10 pesos. Um, there are two ways to buy loads. Um, one is buy a card. It's like the card that you have to scratch for the code and then you know load it up on your phone. The other one is being sent um, electronically to your phone. 
and um, what we'll do is that you have to um, register to a certain promotion so that uh, for your for 500 pesos you'll have um, unlimited texting and calling and also um, streaming so basically depending on what carrier you're um, you're using we have two major telecommunications companies here in the philippines globe and smart so guys i know you've heard your girlfriend say they ran out of load but anyway the monthly expense for your load here in the philippines would be around 500 pesos monthly budget we filipinos don't spend a lot of money on hair care products except for the basic stuff like shampoo, soap, and razors. But once in a while, we like to treat ourselves to our local salons. They offer different kinds of services like hair treatments, manicure, pedicure, and if I'm not mistaken, their hair treatments um, is about 300 pesos, which is about $6 US. Manicure and pedicure is about 60 pesos, which is $1.20 US. So your monthly budget for your personal care items would be around 1,000 pesos per month. Now, of course, everyone has to get around town and especially if you have a job. Some Filipinos own a motorbike, but very, very few of us own a car because having a car is a sign of affluence. Now, one of the basic modes of transportation here in the Philippines is the jeepney. Even if you use this every day, your monthly transportation budget would be around 1,000 pesos, which is about 20 US dollars. Now, there are other expenses, of course, like electricity, which would run the average person living at a boarding house about 400 pesos per month, and a water bill that will be about 200 pesos per month. Now, I didn't mention uh, things like an entertainment budget because we really don't spend anything on entertainment. Our phones are our primary source of amusement, as anyone who's dated a Filipina can attest. But if we add up all these expenses, we come up with a budget of 11,100 pesos or about 222 US dollars. Now, to some of you, that's going to sound incredibly cheap, but I assure you, it can be done and millions of Filipinos live just like this and uh, I did myself. Well, I hope our little budget tour gave you a new perspective on what it's like to live like a local here in the Philippines. And I'll be back by the weekend with something else to surprise you. Till next time, folks. If you think about it, I'm kind of like Princess Leia. Even though I'm Asian and live in a galaxy far, far away, I have important information that needs to get delivered into the right hands. I'm your diplomat that can be a bridge between different cultures and help us understand each other to avoid conflict and smooth relations. All I ask for my effort is that you give a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. So don't be a scruffy looking nerf herder, help a princess out! Ah, oh, not again. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. In fact, put your shirt on. You look disgusting. <laughs>